Hey there guys, it's me your local Woodland Sage. Welcome to my channel where I am going to cover science fiction and fantasy concepts I personally find interesting. I want to start this channel off with a series where I will talk about the future of humanity and the colonization of our solar system. In the first episode I am going to cover the concept of a lunar colony. If you enjoy the video please consider to like and subscribe so you won't miss the next episode about a colony on Mercury. Again thanks for watching. A moon colony could serve various purposes in the future such as conducting experiments and studies in a unique lunar environment, mining the moon for resources like helium-3, rare metals, or water ice. The biggest and most important purpose for our moon is to serve as a staging point for further exploration of the solar system, enabling easier launches and reduced fuel requirements. Testing new technologies and life support systems in a lunar environment. Now I will be going into more detail about each point. The lack of atmosphere on the moon minimizes atmospheric interference, making it an excellent location for telescopes and observational instruments to study distant galaxies, stars, and cosmic phenomena. The moon's surface could also be used to study cosmic rays without atmospheric interference helping researchers better understand high-energy particles from space. Scientific research on the moon serves several important purposes. It helps scientists uncover the moon's origins and composition, providing insights into the early history of our solar system. By studying moon rocks and soil, researchers gain a better understanding of the moon's geology and how it has evolved over time. Additionally, the moon's exposure to space allows scientists to investigate space weather phenomena like solar winds and cosmic rays, crucial for planning safe future space missions. Moreover, the moon serves as a testing ground for new technologies and equipment, providing valuable insights for planning missions to other celestial bodies. Overall, scientific exploration of the moon contributes to our understanding of the cosmos, and lays the groundwork for future space endeavors. Resource extraction on the moon involves the process of gathering valuable materials and substances from its surface for various purposes in space exploration. Picture the moon as a celestial quarry holding precious resources that scientists and engineers are eager to utilize. One significant resource of interest is water ice, potentially present in permanently shadowed areas. Extracting water is crucial because it can be split into hydrogen and oxygen, serving as a source of breathable air for astronauts and a component of rocket fuel. Additionally, the moon may contain rare metals and minerals that could be used for construction and manufacturing in space. By harnessing these resources locally on the moon, we reduce the need to transport everything from Earth for future space missions. This concept of lunar resource extraction essentially transforms the moon into a strategic base, providing the essential materials needed to support and propel humanity's exploration of deeper space. Transporting materials on the moon involves a variety of methods tailored to the lunar environment. Rovers and lunar vehicles, including autonomous drones, can carry payloads across the moon's surface, aiding in exploration and resource transport. Astronauts themselves may use specialized tools or backpacks for short-distance material transport. The moon could become a central hub for space exploration, offering a range of benefits. With its lower gravity, the moon could serve as a more efficient launching point for deep space missions to Mars or beyond. The moon could serve as an advantageous launching point for rockets due to several factors. Firstly, its lower gravity compared to Earth reduces the amount of energy needed to launch spacecraft, making it more fuel efficient. This allows for larger payloads, or the use of smaller rockets for the same missions, potentially lowering overall mission costs. Additionally, the Moon's lack of atmosphere eliminates atmospheric drag, simplifying launches and requiring less propulsion. In essence, using the moon as a launching point enhances the efficiency and feasibility of space exploration missions by capitalizing on its unique gravitational and atmospheric conditions. The moon serves as a crucial testing ground for a variety of space technologies. Scientists and engineers use its surface to assess the performance of robots, 
machinery, and habitats in the unique lunar environment. They experiment with life support systems, refining methods to sustain human life in space. Other experiments include testing how plants grow and experimenting with various construction materials and techniques for future space structures. Solar panels on the moon play a crucial role in providing power for various activities. Due to the moon's lack of atmosphere, solar panels can capture sunlight more efficiently compared to Earth. The continuous exposure to sunlight for about two weeks at a time on the moon's surface allows solar panels to generate a consistent and reliable source of energy. Radio towers on the moon serve as crucial communication infrastructure for lunar missions. Unlike Earth, the moon lacks a significant atmosphere, which means there is no interference with radio signals. This makes radio communication highly effective and reliable on the lunar surface. Essentially, the moon functions as a practical playground where we can try out innovative ideas and technologies, ensuring they work well before we embark on more ambitious space missions, such as crewed missions to Mars and beyond. To summarize, the colonization of the moon involves establishing a sustained human presence on its surface, marking a significant step in humanity's exploration and potential expansion beyond Earth. Scientists and engineers are developing the necessary technologies to create habitats, generate power, and utilize lunar resources for sustaining life. The moon's proximity makes it an accessible testing ground for new space technologies, offering opportunities to refine life support systems, test materials, and experiment with in-situ resource utilization. A lunar colony could serve as a springboard for further space exploration acting as a launching point for missions to Mars and other destinations. Additionally, the Moon's unique environment provides valuable scientific research opportunities, from studying its geological history to observing the cosmos without atmospheric interference. A lunar colony will be humanity's first step in the journey of conquering the solar system. If you watched until the end, I thank you very much for doing so. If you enjoyed the video please consider to like and subscribe to not miss the next video in my little series. Until next time, your local Woodland Sage.